Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a holiday on uh, the little nails. So I jumped right into it. So I grabbed my gel, um, extender gel. So I'm applying it here. Um, just trust the process. I was kind of having a hard time because I normally don't work with gel extender. And it it kind of threw me off a little bit, but this, please forgive me. It's my first time using it. So as in here, you see here, I'm applying it to all my nails. Um, right now, I'm just doing it like halfway and applying it halfway. And then I'm applying these pl this plastic wrap. So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and squish the gel um, and kind of make it like a, like kind of squish it together to give it that icicle feel as that's what I'm doing, um, an icicle type nail. Um, so this is my first time so just work with me here it's beginner friendly um something that i can just do to just test it out and see how things are so i'm of course removing the gel excess gel after curing my nails so i did um individually the plastic wrap and mush it together creating like an icicle feel to it i promise you it, it'll come out just trust the process so instead of having chrome I need to have on hand, try your own risk because this may not work. And it barely worked for me, but it still came out pretty good. So as you can see here, um, I'm applying it to the crinkle parts of the nails. So I have this nail chrome applicator. And all you do is just kind of get it in between the lines. Um, it took me a while to go ahead and get it applied on there because it is eyeshadow not a powder and the eyeshadow itself um, with that palette you do have to bring out in order to bring the colors out you do have to apply a concealer or a shadow base but it did come out a little a little decent and please forgive the mess I was just doing this at a spur of the moment because I saw something on IG. So there you have it. Um, of course, it's not going to look right. It's going to be all gloopy. Um, so, of course, we're going to go ahead and apply the top layer. So what you're going to do here is just go ahead and layer it down with your gel extender. Starting from the top. And you're going to move your way down. While moving your way down, you're going to try to get into the crevices to make sure you have an even surface. So that way, when you file it down... Um, you're not e taken away from the crinkle parts that you need to apply that icicle effect. So, of course, I cured it all. I'm curing my other set at the time. So, this is what you have as far as the finished product. Um, I have filed it down already. So, now I'm going to apply the top, well, the color, the blue color. And I thought this color was very beautiful. The way it stands out to you in the lighting, you can't really tell on here. I actually got this from the beauty store. It was like two bucks, but it was really worth it. I actually like the color. The only thing that it kind of messed me up was trying to do the ombre part. Now the ombre part, I did it with the incorrect brush. So it was kind of hard. So this is how it turned out. And again, this was just a trial run for me, for me just to see how it will look. Spare it a moment. So I ended up I'm doing all the colors and I'm applying my base gel on my top coat. So as you can see here, I'm applying it all the way down. And after applying the base gel, I went ahead and cured it and then I went into the design and detailing of it. So this is like a really short video and this is the finishing product after applying and doing the filing of the nail polish. And then this will be your finishing product. I did the snow. It was more of a snow instead of an icicle feel as far as the design. So this is the result. Here you have it. And that's it for you guys. I hope you enjoy this quick video. Remember to like and subscribe and let me know your opinion and how, what you think about it. Until next time.